Honda's new Ride Assist motorcycle hasn't been released yet, but it's offering an impressive technical demo. The concept at CES demonstrated how motorcycles can maintain stability at low speeds, a particularly challenging task even for experienced riders. In fact, speeds between 2 and 3 miles per hour are among the most challenging for maintaining a motorcycle's upright position, and Honda is leveraging its experience from the development of the Asimo robot and the UniCUB scooter-like transport vehicle to ensure motorcycles can balance themselves or assist riders at low speeds. Ride Assist changes the motorcycle's front fork from its standard geometry to a more aggressive angle, more akin to the geometry of a cruiser designed for slower speeds. The adjusted angle helps improve stability and is controlled by a dedicated motor connected to the front wheel. Honda showed me how Ride Assist works on a self-propelled motorcycle. There are two poles on each side to keep it stable when the system isn't engaged, but even with the handlebars angled in either direction, the motorcycle still manages to propel itself forward under its own power without tipping over. Honda Ride Assist engineer Makoto Araki said the technology doesn't currently have a specific release date, but it could help prevent many injuries that can happen to motorcyclists when they least expect it. Others have also developed advanced balance assistance systems for high-speed riding, but this is an often overlooked area ripe for potential improvements. This is also a great example of how Honda's work in robotics can be leveraged across product lines for improvements that can more quickly impact a broader segment of its customer base. While it will likely take at least a decade for personal robots like Asimo to be fully purchased or available to consumers, the intertwined technologies developed throughout the development process could make a significant impact much sooner.